Welcome to our exploration of how coffee affects your body. Ever wondered what happens when you sip your morning brew? Let's dive into the world of caffeine, the key component in coffee. Caffeine is naturally found in the leaves and fruits of some plants. It is in coffee, black and green tea, cocoa, cola soft drinks and energy drinks. It may also be in chocolate bars, energy bars, and some non-prescription medications, such as cough syrup and slimming tablets. Caffeine is a stimulant, which means it increases activity in your brain and nervous system. It also increases the circulation of chemicals such as cortisol and adrenaline in the body. In small doses, caffeine can make you feel refreshed and focused. In large doses, caffeine can make you feel anxious and have difficulty sleeping. Like many other drugs, it's possible to develop a tolerance to caffeine, which means you need bigger and bigger doses to achieve the same effect. What does caffeine do to your body? Caffeine is well absorbed by the body, and the short-term effects are usually experienced between 5 and 30 minutes after having it. These effects can include increased breathing and heart rate, and increased mental alertness and physical energy. Depending on the individual, these effects can last up to 12 hours. Some of the signs and symptoms of having too much caffeine include a rise in body temperature, frequent urination, dehydration, dizziness and headaches, rapid heartbeat, restlessness and excitability, anxiety and irritability, trembling hands, sleeplessness, how much caffeine is okay each day. How you react to caffeine depends on your body mass, health and metabolism. It also depends on whether your body is used to getting regular doses of caffeine and how much you have in one serving. Research suggests that 400 mg per day or less is an acceptable dose of caffeine for the general population. Approximate caffeine levels per serve include chocolate drinks, 5 to 10 mg per 250 ml, instant coffee, 80 to 120 mg per 250 ml, drip or percolated coffee, 150 to 240 mg per 250 ml. Espresso coffees such as espresso or latte, 105 to 110 mg per 250 ml. Decaffeinated coffee, 2 to 6 mg per 250 ml. Black tea, 65 to 105 mg per 250 ml. Cola drinks, 40 to 49 mg per 375 ml. Red Bull Energy Drink, 80 mg per 250 ml. Energy drink, 160 mg per 250 ml. Dark chocolate bar, 40 to 50 mg per 55 g serve. Milk chocolate bar, 10 mg per 50 g serve. Caffeine tablets such as No Dozen, 100 mg per tablet. Energy drinks and caffeine energy drinks contain caffeine as well as ingredients such as taurine and guarana, a natural source of caffeine. Energy drinks do not hydrate and should not be confused with sports drinks. The caffeine and sugar content of energy drinks is high. In fact it is often higher than in soft drinks. The levels of caffeine in energy drinks vary between brands, so it is important to read the label before having them. Children and pregnant women should avoid drinking energy drinks. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Stay healthy and enjoy your coffee. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.